we're gonna go to a runway because it's the largest unobstructed area that we can come up with that we can look at those targets without any obstructions and follow it all the way from the start all the way to the other end of the runway. Here uh, in, in Byron doing a thousand meter test, you know, many sensors today uh, claim distances of 200 or 300 meters. And while that's impressive, we want to show the industry that sensors have improved, we've progressed as well, and that for really detecting objects that distance, one kilometer should be the benchmark. Um, I've got the car on my left, which is the Bolt, at 1,018 meters. And then I've got what I assume is the sprinter van on the right-hand side at 1,017.9 meters. We're seeing everything that we're expecting to see. Yeah, that's actually insanely accurate because, I mean, he probably is maybe an inch closer to you than I am, which is, you know, kind of crazy. 118 one versus 117.9. It's an exact one meter by one meter target, and we're going to put it at this distance count the number of dots on it, and then from there be able to radiometrically look at the number of detections that we should get. And from there, we'll be able to determine whether we can get that 1,600 points per degree on that target. We can go in and take a look at the number of detections that we're hitting on it, and you can see how dense a resolution this pattern is. Yeah, this is honestly one that we have to do after the fact, because there's so many detections on I, it. I, I, yeah, I'm not going to count these. I wasn't going to try. <laughs> so for, for 0 0.025 degrees, uh, we can get as tight as 1,600 uh, points in one square degree. Uh, most sensors today are right around 100. So um, that's an interesting benchmark that we're setting in this space. So our human eyes, we do this very naturally. We see something coming in through the peripheral of our vision, we're able to then look towards it. And that ability to do this in real time is giving us that extra capability to react to that brick in the road or to be able to observe that lateral entrance of something that's very fast, potentially a dog, a kid, cars. Those are things that are very important to see instantaneously, not waiting for five or six more frames to go through. And we can also have someone walk in front of it uh, so that uh, we, you can verify that we're uh, doing this live here. Yep, that's a good idea. And I can do it with, I can even show 10 frames and because it's so fast, it will be perceived as the exact same thing to the human eye. Yeah, actually it's running a little bit faster. I just realized it's about 240. Go ahead and put that uh, glass in front. Do you see anything change in the point cloud? Matt, did you, did you see a difference? Did you see, able to notice when he put the glass in front of it? Um, I was not able to notice. So the traditional LiDAR uh, makers, they basically send out a light pulse and that send is in the same path as the receive. And so what ends up happening is like if you take a flashlight and you go up to a dark window and you flash it you're gonna see that bounce back. And that basically blinds the receivers. So because our transmit and our receive paths are separated, uh, we don't deal with the internal reflections that many coax systems or uh, transmit and receive aligned systems struggle with today. Now we can look through that windshield, still see all the examples that are out in the world and have a great return on those. We can actually have this so it's integrated into the car, invisible and still maintain performance. I'm pretty impressed with that density at 200 meters. Yeah, I am as well. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, even just looking at the visualizer right now, like you can see things oh. back there. Well, we can see the we can see the cars going out there and the truck. Yeah. It looks like the truck's on the right. Oh, that's funny. I can see the the two three where you guys are at in the lidar point cloud. <laughs> that's oh. pretty cool. Do you see this, guys? Something on the ground? How yeah. far is that 23 away from you? Uh, that is 150 meters. Yeah, uh, I can see the 23. Yeah, I see oh, it. But it's, it's about 100 meters from the LiDAR. 150. 
150 meters from LIDAR. Wow. I, I honestly, as a human, I cannot read it from here. All I see is just a white blur of paint. I'm actually super impressed myself. <laughs> this is cool, guys. Yeah, it is cool.